Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. Time to take up another champion. This one's going to be a six star to rank four. Now, I actually did this rank up a little while ago, and some of you may have already seen who it is. But I'm going to give you a chance to guess. Okay, now I have some options. So you're not just guessing blindly or trying to remember who I have at rank three and who I have at rank four, okay? So the first candidate is Iceman, all right? So Iceman, if you guys remember back in the day, I used to use Iceman all the time. And because I run the Recoil Masteries and he's immune to both bleed and poison, he was great. I could get extra damage and didn't really have to uh, worry so much about the health loss. The problem, though, was that he didn't have a lot of damage, even with the recoil masteries. And you wanted to spam a lot of specials, which if you're running the recoil masteries, you really don't want to do. So I would use him in Alliance War, but eventually... Uh, the health pools just got so large that uh, in some fights, I was starting to time out. And so I had to retire him. Well, recently, he got a rework. And he's actually pretty good now. Some people have already taken him all the way up to rank five. Uh, but for me, currently, just rank three. All right, next one is going to be King Groot. Now, King Groot is a beast. A lot of people don't realize how good he is. Now, in uh, Alliance Quest, I take the diss track path. And you want to have someone that puts, you know, at least three debuffs on them. Well, he does that. He can put three armor breaks and they can be permanent. Um, and he's got a crazy heal. Uh, I believe I've already taken him to Sig 200. So he is definitely my candidate for rank four. A lot of health, a lot of health will go up, uh, you know, when he's at rank four. All right. Next one, Nimgod. Now, I shouldn't have to tell you about Nimgod. He is the destroyer of mutants, although there are a couple of mutants that uh, you have to be real careful if you're taking him uh, against them. In uh, Battlegrounds, some people have found that out. They thought, oh, yeah, this is a great option for him, and they lost, and they were wondering why. Hopefully, they've uh, not figured it out because I want them to keep doing that, uh, but anyway, uh, Nimgod pretty much shuts down mutants, and most of the time, if you have a high sig Nimrod, which I'm working on, uh, his special two, devastating. It's devastating even if you don't have a high sig. But you get Nimgod up at sig 200, and he destroys. So definitely, definitely a candidate for rank four. All right. And the next one is going to be Spider-Man 2099. Um, <laughs> I was trying to remember, uh, I called him something else. But yeah, Spider-Man 2099. Um, if you guys remember when I was uh, trying to get Hercules out of the feature, I pulled this guy four times. All right. Anyway, um, I pulled him four different times out of that feature. Never pulled Hercules even once. Now, it wasn't because he was a, a bad champion that I didn't want to, you know, see him four different times. But I only needed to pull him like once, really. Twice at the most. But four different times? No. Now, at the time, there was a node on the boss that made him a beast. I mean, he, he was too good. I, I started becoming a boss killer. And this was a while ago. 
and uh, this is before the banning system or anything. And pretty much all you would see, somebody was bringing that Spider-Man 2099. And I think I lost once to a boss that I just wasn't used to fighting. But then that same boss, I came back again and I got him with Spider-Man 2099. He was the ultimate boss killer. But they fixed that. So he's no longer that. I um, still use him because he doesn't gain buffs. And so he is great for um, especially people like Ebony Maw, uh, Mojo, anyone that punishes you for your buffs. He is great for. Um, and if you take a certain path in Alliance War, I think it's path two. And you see any mystics, he is like a beast for that. All right. Now, the final candidate is going to be Thing. Now, any of you watched me go up against Nick Fury with Thing? I know a lot of you were probably surprised because when you see Thing, you don't think of him on offense. You think of him on defense, and that's usually where you would place him. So people were very surprised to see me use Thing against uh, Nick Fury. And I won. So Thing, and this is a, a rank three Thing. Can you imagine him at rank four? And yes, he is SIG 200. A rank four Thing? Yes, please. So anyway, those are the candidates. Now, who do you think I'm about to take up to rank four out of these candidates? Take your time. But you're going to have five, four, three, two, one. Yes, sir. Iceman. Ice. Ice, baby. Oh, man. I, I, I love Dave's uh, Iceman. Can I get an Iceman? Can I get an Iceman? He wanted that Iceman so bad. I know. Uh, I don't think he's been playing a lot. He's been really busy lately. Um, but this Iceman, oh, man. Jason and Jabari Gaming, another YouTuber, has already taken Iceman up to rank five. That's how much better he is now. And I played with him a little bit. Insane. Love him. So I had to take him up. He's got the immunities. And he's got more immunities than he used to. He still has the bleed and the poison. Um, but now he's immune to cold snap. He wasn't immune to cold snap before. Now he's cold snap, a uh, cold snap immune. And he's frostbite immune. And he's incinerate immune, which I believe he was before too. I mean, he is crazy. He is crazy. And his damage, way better than it was. So... Uh, I may end up taking him to rank five. He is definitely a candidate for rank five. Um, we'll have to see how my T6 uh, class catalyst uh, situation comes. But definitely, definitely, uh, I'm happy with taking him up to uh, rank four. Now, you may not see me using him a lot. I will probably add him to my deck. Um, he's one of those champs that, you know, he's not in my deck. So I usually try to ban him because of the unavoidable damage. Unless you have someone who is cold snap immune, he can be very, very annoying. So I got him. I'll probably add him to my deck and we'll see how that goes. But he is good for defense and offense. He's not the fastest killer but he can take a lot of punishment he can tank a special three as long as his um ice armor is up he's a great counter for you know havoc for example very good uh against havoc or anyone that you want to have an armor up for very very good and 
his damage reduction while he has that ice armor up is awesome. So he's actually got a bit of sustainability as well. Uh, he doesn't take a lot of damage if you, you know, play him right. Okay. Uh, so definitely love Iceman. Uh, the other candidates, they are still candidates for rank four. He is now a candidate for rank five. And uh, probably in the next rank up video, I will have another rank five. So be looking for that. Haven't done it yet. I still got to collect my uh, T6 uh, class catalyst, but I already know who I'm taking up. All right, so that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button. Congratulations if you guessed right. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video, what you think about my Iceman rank up. And you all have a blessed day.